welcome everyone to a new update on Life's Adventure. In this uh, episode of One and Mars Devlog, we will talk about the weapon and armor system. So, if you ask yourself why did it take almost half a year to get up uh, new information on the game, this uh, was due to mainly two reasons. Reason number one, I really wanted to uh, focus on the production, so even if these videos are uh, quite simply made, they still kind of take um, um, quite a bit of time to produce. And um, the other reason, the more important reason, is that I also had to spend quite um, a lot of time on um, generating new fundings for the project. So, as you can imagine, as long as this uh, project, or as long as Life Spencer isn't um, out on the market, it will not produce any, any money, but it will cost money, so I have to make sure that these costs are covered um, from other sources. So, that's why once every once in a while um, it might take a bit longer to get to the next step, but I really do hope that once the first project is finished, um, things will start to get a bit easier on this one. But, let's get back to the topic. Um, weapons and armor sets and just let's dive directly into uh, some gameplay and see what there is in store for us. Alright, uh, welcome everyone to the new um, hub area. So this is the area where you will um, start the most, most of your um, quests and uh, adventures. And uh, this room is where you can uh, stay for a while, and um, just above you is the potion shop. And something happened here, so which is story related, so I won't talk about it in this video. But um, what we can do is here have a look at the, the different potions. So these are different health potions, and the blue one is a return home uh, potion. This will give you the possibility to return home, as the name intends, uh, whenever you want to. So let's say you're on a mission, but the weapon or your equipment is not what you need to deal with the, the challenge. You can always use one of uh, these uh, potions and immediately return um, to the hub area. Um, but what we primarily want to talk about today is uh, the weapon and armor um, system. So here in the main town we will find a weapon shop, which is over here. And so let's head inside and see what um, is in store for us here. So let's quickly talk to the guy and he just welcomes us. And let's check out um, what he can offer. So, as you can see here, there are a lot of uh, different weapons. Some are just too expensive for us right now, and others have different icons next to them. Uh, so, for example, this sword does ice damage, this one does fire damage. Quite uh, obviously, this one does electrical damage, and the same is true for uh, these axes. And what we have uh, else is this symbol, which means that this weapon, or this one below, uh, will do critical damage. So, um, let's say every 10th or every 20th hit um, will, will deal more damage than, than usual. Um, this is randomized, so you never know when it will happen, but it um, can be very powerful. Um, in some cases. You can even have weapons that do um, elementary damage and um, critical damage, but um, there's none here at the moment. Um, so this is maybe something that you will find later in the game. For example, we have two locked weapons, so we don't know what they will um, look like or what they will um, what their attributes will be like. So right now, let's just simply buy um, a few weapons. So let's uh, buy the sword and since it is fire damage let's take this electrical damage um, axe and let's see what we have. No, I the wrong button. So we have fire and we have electrical. So let's buy this ice sword as well. 
Um, as you can see right now, we have the no room indicator, so there's just not much, no, no room left to buy uh, more weapons. Um, but there's a way around that problem. For example, if you want to buy uh, an additional he health potion, we just simply buy one of these um, expansions, so inventory expansions. So th this one is the cheapest, so let's just use this one. And ta-da, we have an additional slot, which is very helpful um, on all our adventures. So let's head out and have a look at the different weapons. So. Um, this one is your standard hammer, so it does uh, standard effects. But if you change to, let's say, this electrical um, axe, you will see that the color of the effect changes. And even if you hit um, an object or an enemy, it will generate a electrical effect, which is true for um, the eye sword as well, so that whenever we hit this armor set here, it will kind of create this uh, ice effect, and the same is true for for the fire weapon here. So speaking of uh, armor sets, um, this is the armor dealer, and just let's quickly talk to her. So these are four armor sets. They have different attributes as well, and as you can see over here, they can have electrical um, fire and ice protection in this case, or in this case, uh, it does additional protection against any physical damage. And um, the last type of influence there is, is uh, influence on, s on attack speed. So um, this one kind of reduces your attack speed, and this one kind of adds to your attack speed, so it makes you slower. So for testing, just let's buy this one, and let's buy this one. So all the, the values are, are testing values, so they will be uh, changed in a balancing process. So it will definitely, definitely not be as, as shown here, but um, f as an example, it's totally okay to, to have it like that. Um, armor sets are always delivered directly to your home base, so just let's head over to my room and change the armor set. Let's just use this little transportation method here and head over to my room. And on the far right there is this uh, trunk, and when I open it we see that there are all the both um, armor sets in here, so glow armor and cloak of protection, and just let's quickly see the the influence on the attack speed here. So um, without going into a fight, it's hard to show the protection aspect. Um, we might do that in a in a different video, but the speed is quite easily um, visible. So let's take um, this armor set, which is slower. So maybe let's take this attack and change the armor set to this one here. And yeah, I don't know if this is really, maybe it's easier to see with the sword. So this is quite fast. Then go to this one here. And yeah, that's visible. It's just not as fast anymore. So I think um, the slowest right now is the iron armor. Um, and if you want to go with this um, strong protection against uh, attacks, but you don't like the, the speed, um, the reduction of in speed, then you simply have to check uh, for a very fast sword or a very fast axe. So um, both armor sets and weapons have um, speed attributes, so it's really up to you to find a good combination in uh, protection and speed. Alright, we're back. I really hope you enjoyed this um, update on Life's Adventure. I think it's quite a big and a cool update, since it kind of brings a lot of variety into the fighting gameplay. And I'm really looking forward to um, show you even more um, 
and what's new in the game but it might uh, take uh, again a few weeks and hopefully not a month this time around to get the next video up and running so thank you for um, checking out this video and have a good day bye bye